Welcome back, guys. Yes, it's the episode you've been waiting for. We're going to start the terraforming properly. Oh, man. Before we get into that, um, there's a couple of things that I need to explain to people. Uh, okay, first thing. Between the last episode and this episode, the only thing I've done is I've added a second fusion generator over here. And I've put in a couple of triboelectric scrubbers. Now, the reason for the second fusion reactor is because at the end of the last episode, I spotted that we'd started getting leaks. And we, we were only just producing enough power to the point where like one leak would knock out the entire network. So, and then of course you spawn dust devils, which create loads and loads of leaks. So you've got to stop the dust devils spawning. So um, I needed to put like a lot of extra power in there to compensate for that. So that's that. Uh, now, a couple of bits of explaining. Tourists. Tourists do not need any facilities whatsoever other than raw food that they can get off this stockpile over here. Um, yeah. Uh, they, they don't need anything. It, it's not like they come here and then they decide, oh, did I have a nice time or not? And then that gets you more tourists. No. As long as they spend five, uh, as long as they complete their stay here, um, every tourist will generate two new tourists. So as long as they don't die, they generate two new tourists, which is why currently our rocket is flying back with 22 tourists on board. Now, uh, at this point, let me show you the mod options, right? Uh, now, first of all, the, the, the circle, you remember the circle? Let me turn it back on again. Uh, where is it? Um, which is, hang on, wait. Uh, why? Oh, because the rocket's not here. When the rocket's here, if you've got this option on, then it will show you the the, um, the radius. And it is the recall radius. It's the it's the distance that the, the tourists can go to catch that rocket. So it's, it's quite big, much bigger than I thought it was. So that's that thing. Uh, second thing is, um, this is where you can control how many t um, uh, tourists can go on a rocket. So our rocket can hold 22, so I've upped it from 20 to 22. So th that's that, that's all, the, all your settings. And you can change your, your scan modes here as well. So that's that. The other thing is, talking about services for people. Uh, I've said this so many times in videos, but I still get comments about it. Old folks and kids. Kids do not need any services, okay? Um, as long as they, like, like, they don't even need a house, right? They'll, they'll live in regular housing. But housing, uh, playgrounds, and schools. So, you know what, let's, uh, am I gonna do that? Yeah, go on, why, why not, what the hell? What do I want? I want education and research, so we want a couple of playgrounds. This will give them perks as they grow up, so that's kind of a good thing. So we'll pop those in. Uh, what do I need for that? Polymers. Yeah, I could just about afford that. And then a school. Oh, I am so short of electronics, but I will put a school in. What the hell? And a school. If I, well, let's show it on here. Oh, where are you? School. A school also cultivates perks. Hooray! So, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to put that in because I want to save my electronics. So, no. They'll, they'll, they'll just have to live with the playgrounds for now. Kids don't need any services. Other, like, I mean, that's just for perks, and that's kind of like a bonus thing. They don't need any services other than, again, raw food. Okay? So you don't need anything for the kids. Old people, you do not want to give old people, seniors, any services. You want them to become homesick and leave the planet. Otherwise, you end up with millions of old people. So don't like don't link up your domes to provide them with services. It's bad. You want them to go away. All right, that's all that. Now we can get onto the terraforming stuff. So I am going to kick this off. Uh, the cash cow. I've got to keep the, an eye on the cash cow because that's manual at the moment. I want to. I want to get some get some stuff and automate that. As far as tech, I'm running a quick uh, Martian copyrights. I ran one, I'm, I'm running another one because I need the cash. Because I really, really want to buy another rocket. Uh, and then I'm going to do uh, the polymer factory because we need, I need to be able to build fuel refineries for what I'm going to do. Uh, then I'm going to do general training to improve our research. Deep water extraction because we need some water. And Martian born ingenuity, uh, which again will help our research. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Right, this area up here is where we're going to be doing our stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do, I, I, now I've already flattened this area, but I'm just going to have a, a, a quick little flatten, just to make sure that it's all 
all nice and level. Bump and oh, we've got we one of our founders has died of old age. Final oh. farewell to one of our fire. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> thanks, thanks for playing. All right, let's make sure that all of this is nice and flat. There we go. Should be all nice and flat now. Good. What we're going to do up here? Okay, okay, let's go back to basics. Terraforming. So there are four parameters for terraforming. Atmosphere, temperature, water, and vegetation. Okay, now this does give you some information, like some basic information, and it tells you how much you're increasing each of those parameters. But the best information is actually on the planetary view. And it's up here when you mouse over this. It's kind of hidden. I wish they'd put it somewhere a bit more obvious, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, this tells you the levels at which things happen. So 25% temperature, you get liquid water. 50% uh, temperature, you get cold waves end, etc., etc. The one to look out for is toxic rains. Toxic rains start when you've got 25% atmosphere and 25% temperature, and they last until you've got 55% atmosphere, 55% temperature, and 5% water. So you want to blitz through that as quickly as possible so that you get as few toxic rains as possible. Uh, what order do you want to do these in? Well, um, that's, pretty, that's pretty straightforward. You want to start off by getting your temperature up. Once you've got your temperature up, then you want to get some water going. And once you've done that, then you can start vegetation. New atmosphere, you can arrived. actually do last. Vegetation doesn't need atmosphere. Okay, we've got our colonists have arrived. They're going to give us uh, another 220 million, which would be beautiful. Do you want to see them arrive? They'll be in the dome by now, I would have thought. They tend to sprint. Yeah, they're all in there. Cool. You, cash cow there? No, not yet. Not yet. Be there soon. What was I saying? Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, so you want to do... Um, you want to do temperature, water, vegetation, atmosphere, you can do whenever, right? And if you if you actually go to the encyclopedia for vegetation, it tells you, for example, the, the seed vegetation special project becomes available when water, or when temperature and water levels are high enough to support primitive plant life, right? Now, can you do vegetation like right from the beginning? You can, but it'll be really, really, really ineffective because, because it, it needs water and warmer temperatures. So that's the order to do them in. Okay, so we are going to try and get the temperature up. That's where we're going to start. So I'm going to try and do something a bit fancy. Um, is that, has that rocket arrived yet? Cause it's, oh, it's almost there. Funding received. All right, cool. And we've got 2.8 billion. How long till I get my, um, yeah, a little while, a little while. What are we doing? We do 2.3K. You know, I, you know what, while I'm, while I'm faffing around with this, I'm just going to get some medics produced. Uh, and I'm bound to forget this, so remind me. Uh, let's get, change it from auto to produce me some medics. I don't know how it's long it's going to take to do that. And I'm going to open up these jobs. And I'm now going to make, there yeah, are am I going to make this specialist yet? Yeah. That I'm definitely going to make specialist. No, I'm not going to make this specialist just yet. But I really want to get medics in there because um, medics help to keep you your people from going insane. It's pretty important. We've got uh, sick colonists. Oh, good. Senior. That's a tourist. 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 Sweet. Awesome source. All right. Let's get back up. Oh, let's get back over here. So. Uh, oh, that rocket has arrived. Hooray! So, uh, oh, I was going to wait for the extra cash, wasn't I? Yeah, I'll wait for the extra cash. It'll be fine. Oh, man, there's so many things to do. Okay, I wanted to come up with a cool design for um, for this for this bit, for raising the temperature. Two ways you can do it. Cool heat convectors. We haven't even discovered the tech for this yet. Terraforming is quite late game. Guys, it's only Sol 57. It's, this is really early game. So um, this is pretty early to be doing terraforming. I should actually focus on production and stuff, but I'm going to do it because you want me to do it. So, uh, so anyway, uh, core heat convectors, which we haven't got, or GHG factories, which is greenhouse gas factories. So we're going to put in some greenhouse gas factories. So the way we're going to do this is plonk in um, put 
you there, and you. Ah, no, that's in the wrong place. Why? Why do I keep trying to pause the game? Uh, that's not right. That you know what? That's not. That's not in the right place. That's, that's what's thrown it off. This needs to be there. That's it. And then th that goes there. That goes there. And then there and there. Now that is a greenhouse gas factory. Oh, hell yeah. Are we finished? No, I'm not finished. Not even close. We are going to throw in uh, a couple of triboelectric scrubbers. One, one, two, three. Oh, that works. So triboelectric scrubber there, triboelectric scrubber there. And then I'm going to make it like really fancy. So. I'm going to do I'm going to do something similar to those atom designs that I was doing before but but a bit different. So um bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. two two now two one two and around the corner. <laughs> okay, it's quite complicated. Uh, so one, two, one, two, and uh, and then now I'm going to go. Research complete. Yeah, I'm going to go there, 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 and finished. What do you think? That's quite a nice little pattern, isn't it? I think so. What's going on? Uh, so we've done Martian copyrights. Good. Pause. Okay. So I've got four point eight billion. I've only got eight electronics and 18 polymers, which is not terrific. We're up to 2.4K research though. That's very, very good. Uh, do I buy another rocket? I, I think I've got to buy another rocket. So, buy a rocket. Yes. Oh, I'm probably gonna regret that, but hey. So that leaves me with 1.8. I need a whole bunch of these and I'm going to need a few polymers as well uh, let's do let's do that 70 and 30 that'll do and I can manage with the machine parts I've got all right launch that and then I want now hang on a second let's see we got, oh we've got another 19 people we could bring in oh and we've got a medic we've got two medics Oh, freaking awesome. All right, you know what? Launch. Now, hang on. That's another 19. Ah, I can figure it out. Launch. Hooray. Uh, let's go down here for a second. Uh, how much spare capacity have I got? Oh, I can house 19. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's kick these people out. Yeah. So, I want to demolish... Come on. Give, give me the house. Thank you. Uh, demolish that house. Go. Uh, this I'm going to turn back to auto now. Auto, auto, auto. Um, uh, where's auto? Ah, uh, there's auto. Hooray. Good job. How many medics have we got now? Oh, we've got like five. We can have one extra. Hooray. Let's make that just dedicated to medics now. Excellent. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. How many people have we got? Oh, this is going to work out very nicely. Okay, so let's get another residence in. Uh, another big residence. Apartments. Uh, which way round is that supposed to go? Uh, it's supposed to go Research that way, I think. Complete. Yeah. Is it that way? Sector scanned. Yeah, it is that way. Boom, in. Right, we have now got polymer factory low G hydroponics, hydrosynthesis, and fuel refinery. And fuel refinery is important. Uh, those two are on the way back. Where are we? Oh, now, um, another, th another thing. I should show you the mod options. Um, because we've now got more than 22 tourists, we've got 22 and there's another two waiting on Earth, I'm going to decrease the wait time between voyages down to three days. So what's going to happen? It's going to wait for three days. 
then travel to Earth, which takes a day, travel back, which takes a day, so that's five days, by which time it should be time to pick up the last bunch of people that it dropped off. So hopefully, um, yeah, <laughs> it'll handle more that way, handle more uh, tourists. Okay, so that's that, now we can get back to this. Holy, uh, oh, see, we've got a leak. A leak over there, that's not good. Um, I need to get some power going on, but let's get this uh, sorted out first. Okay, so these factories, these greenhouse gas factories, need fuel, right? So we've got to provide some fuel, which is why I want uh, some water and why I'm researching uh, deep water extraction, which is going to happen very, very soon. By the way, I'm not going to be getting the space elevator, at least for a while. I'm gonna do another Martian copyrights after this, I think, to get another couple of billion. And then I'll, then I'll figure out what the hell I'm gonna do after that. I think probably, uh, what can we do? Oh, I tell you what we wanna do. We wanna do planetary survey. This will give us uh, six planetary anomalies that are linked to terraforming. So, you know what, I might do, yeah, let's do, let's do that and then we'll do seeds. Yeah, then we'll do seeds. Okay, close. Alrighty, so we need to provide these guys with um, with some, some, some water. So I think what I'm gonna do is, now I can build a couple of fuel refineries, which I'm gonna tuck in uh, there and there. And then I'm gonna have some water extractors uh, look, this is un that's un why is that uneven there? For goodness' sake, let's try let's try flattening this again. And if I reduce the size a little bit, that'd be easy. There we go. Um, see if it's a bit flat now. Une like uneven terrain there. What the hell? Try again. Uh, Shrink it down even more. And right across there. Right. If that's not flat now, then I don't know how to make it flat. All right, cool. So we just need to get that done, colonists and then I can do that. Are departing. Hooray! Seven colonists are leaving. Who are they? Some, some of the tourists. Some of the homesick tourists, probably. Right, so. See, if you can get rid of the tourists early, all the better. Good news. Oh, they might be, actually, they might be seniors who've got homesick. Well, yeah, whoever they are, we want rid of. Oh, no, they are, no, they, they were tourists because that, that's just de decreased. Hooray, good news. We've got 400 million from our tourists so far, which is not really that much, considering what, what we've had to go through. These rockets are ready. I should land the darn things. Let's get, um, now where's Cash Cow? Cash Cow, whoops, where do I want Cash Cow? I want Cash Cow to actually land here. Um, let's land you there, go. And where do I want the other one? The other one with the 19 passengers, ooh. That's slightly problematic. So I want it there, but it's too far from the domes. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put it up here and run it manually for one cycle. So go. There we go. So it's gonna give us another 19 people. So at this point, I'm gonna get a polymer factory going. Polymer factory. Uh, one of the people have been saying, why haven't you got production going? And the, the problem is, one of the, one of the things about Japan is colonists are departing. you don't get many um, applicants. You don't get many colonists. So you, your growth in terms of population is very slow. So research, you get, you get a real boost on research, but God, getting colonists is really slow. But we're now up to 92 colonists. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Let's link that up. Cool. All right, sweet. And come on, guys, get it built. So let's see, what, what are we up to now? 
Oh, look at this. Let's make that restricted to scientists. We'll restrict that. To, that's already restricted to scientists. We've got medics in there. You know what? I'm going to open this one up. Get that built. I'm going to restrict that to medics as well. And now we can start opening up some other jobs. We can open up that job. And let's see, how many unemployed people have I got? I've got uh, 12 vacant work slots. I've got four people who are unemployed seeking work. I, I've definitely got one extra medic who can go into here. All right, so let's make this medics only and open it up. Cool. I'm going to make these guys work hard and I'm going to make these guys work hard and uh, they're already working hard uh, yep you can work hard now once once you've got good medics you can get people working hard and they won't go insane because when they get low on sanity they'll go to the to the medics and as long as you've got good medics with decent service comfort they'll keep it under control or at least that's the idea uh, you're working hard. Anybody that goes here is going to be working hard during the day. The polymer factory. We've got engineers in there. That's fine. Limit it to engineers. Open up the second shift. Don't have them working hard, though, because they get a penalty for going outdoors. And you, if you load them up with two penalties, penalty for working outdoors. You don't want them working at night, because that would be another negative penalty. And that's why we don't have them working hard during the night shift, because that would be bad. Uh, we can start thinking about opening up these other shifts as well. We've got, let's see, we've got four unemployed people seeking jobs. So, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, let's, I don't know. Let's have a look at what, what are people complaining about that they want more of. Um, oh, i tell you what I could do, because, they, did you say that, that it was like gambling, luxury... What else? Gambling, ga oh, gambling, gaming, luxury. Now, if we build the casino complex, complete. which we can just about afford to do, yeah, go, build it. This will give gambling, luxuries, and other stuff. What's this? Anything for love. Your attention is required. What's this? Anything for love. A gloomy looking colonist approaches you and shares something personal. <laughs> Koki Kabayashi is deeply in love with another colonist they fear is out of their league. They wish to propose during a very romantic moment, one that involves a serious display of fireworks. Costs 10 million. I can't say no to a hopeless romantic. Let's have some fireworks. I will do anything for love, but I won't do that. Ha ha ha, bit of meatloaf, love it. Uh, I'm gonna spend that blowing 10 million. Let's, let's have some fun for goodness sake. And we all like a good rejoice, don't we? So, oh, I've, that's, that's all I've got is 10 million. All right, do it. Ray. And there was much rejoicing. Woo! Slow down a bit. Make it last. We've got deep water extraction. Sweet. How many polymers are we producing? 2.5 per day. Cool. So we're actually starting to produce something. About blooming time, some of you will be saying. Five colonists are, hurt, are sick. Yes, tourist, senior, 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 senior. Good, we're shipping out the seniors and the tourists, which is no bad thing. Right, this needs to be automated now. So, automated, because otherwise I will forget it all the time. Is this loaded up and ready to go? This is. Ship you out as well. All right, PG. Let's get over here and start getting this stuff built now that we've got some stuff. So, let's get this built. We're going to get some power going first. So, we'll build that. We'll build that, uh, we'll build that, and we'll build that. I'm just going to build one of these for the time being. Like, so do you like just one side of this? Oh, let's speed you up. Okay, and then what are we going to want? We're going to want uh, that built, aren't we, first. So we'll prioritise that. Right, now that this water is available, we're going to get some water going up here. So what I want to do is put in... Now, I'm going to put one... Yeah, I'm going to put one there and one there. And I'm going to put one... Oh, come on. Why don't you go... 
Oh, blooming uneven terrain. Again, you know what, I'll sort that out later. Uh, and this one's going to go on there. So there's going to be four around this, ultimately. But for now, we'll just put one in, which can go up there. We're going to want to pipe this baby up. So what I'm going to do, uh, I can just run a pipe across there. That's those connected. Research complete. Milestone achieved. 16 New tourists. tourists have arrived. Colonists Margin ingenuity done. Oh, we've hit 100 colonists and got 1,000, uh, whatever the hell that is. 1,000 uh, research. Get rid of that, get rid of that. There's three buildings not working. I need to check that out. 15 people leaving Mars. Don't care. You know, let's just check these buildings. What are these buildings? Oh, that one, that one. Oh, no, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that needs to be upgraded to Eternal Fusion. I'll cancel the jobs even though it does it for you. Uh, it's a good idea to actually cancel the jobs because uh, let me show you for why. All right. Uh, even though I'm upgrading it to Eternal Fusion, if we go down to the university, the university will show. Uh, look, I've got jobs for 32 engineers. And it might start churning out engineers when engineers is not what we want. And we actually haven't got any jobs for engineers. So when you put one of these fusion reactors in, make sure that you cancel the jobs. And then if we go and look at the university. Oh, look, now there's only jobs for eight engineers. Haha. <laughs> Which should be, yeah, the eight jobs in there. Which is exactly what we want. So good tip that. Well, it's, it's a tip. I don't know if it's a good tip, but it's a tip. Um, that's not powered, but it should be. Is that? Oh, but yeah, no, we, we need we need this up and running. It'll happen. We'll get there. We'll get there. Right, so that's going to provide water. We need to pipe that up. So we need a pipe going across there. And so I am going to have to put a cable in temporarily let's put a cable in there let's get rid of it. Let's try again let's go to there then all right lovely sweet go oh no i just stopped it ha <laughs> ha did the wrong way okay so we're going to have uh, refineries running producing fuel the fuel will go to the greenhouse gas factories and then we'll start producing a temperature increase in the planet hooray i know it's much rejoicing or there will be Right, is that done? That's done. That's working. That's working. Which Funding means received. that now these drones can go and start building stuff. Let's move you over here. Uh, this needs to get built. So once this is powered, we'll stop the dust devils, which will be very, very good news. Sweet. Um, I'm going to need to build... Those two, which I am building, and increase the radius. This one, I don't, uh, do I need to? Yes, I do need to increase the radius on that one. Crank the radius up, and then it covers this. Hooray. Good news. Whew, I mentioned it before, but this is ultimately going to be a big cargo spaceport. That's the plan for this. So this will just be some random stuff that's going on up at the top end. There's going to be various power generation stuff going on up here. We're going to need a ton of power for all of the... All of this stuff. Uh, How are we doing? We've got 20 polymers. Okay, I, I want to queue up the amplify text. So let's get, let's get, well, let's get amplify first, which is this one. Yeah, amplify. No, no, that's the factory. I do want to get that actually. But where's the, where's the, where's the amplify? I thought it was that one. No, it's this one. Here we go, amplify. So we want Amplify, and then we want this Breakthrough, which will increase Amplify to give a bigger boost. And then I am going to want to do the Factories upgrade, increase um, performance by 20%, which will make our Polymer Factory produce more stuff, which would be a very good thing. Let's have a look over here. How are you doing? So we need 10 scientists, 5 medics, and eight engineers. Let's have a look at the sanity in here. Oh, we've got a meteor shower coming in. That's not good. Oh, nine polymers. Hooray. Uh, what do I want? 
uh, yeah, I wanted to look at um, sanity. How's sanity in the dome? Oh, sanity is going up. Oh no, that, that's that's comfort. Wrong, wrong. I want to be looking at this. Okay, so we, we've got one. Per oh, they're a whiner. But even so, if we look at this person, how are you being treated? Look, visited the infirmary, plus 14. Well rested, plus 5. Visiting the infirmary, plus 4. Yeah, we need those like plus 14s, which is what you get with uh, with really good, uh, really good service quality. This is like service comfort 51. We've all got like fully stocked, trained medics. This one, like we've only got one guy working there. So, I don't know. Do I just wait? Because like, like, the service comfort is 20. So it's when they go to this one, they get lousy service. Uh, this one's fine. So do I just wait? I guess I'll just wait. I mean, it won't be too long before um, before it gets filled up. We've got like a bunch of people. Eight engineers, nine scientists, and then the five medics. It'll happen. I'm not going to worry. Oh, we've got an idle extractor. Oh, we've used up all the metal out of here. Okay, well, rip that out. Rocket on route. No tourists on board. Okay, that's going to get ripped out. Beautiful. Cool. How are we doing? We've got 1.2k metal, 1.2k concrete. Food is kind of, sort of okay. But I think we're going to have to start bumping it up soon. I may make this... A priority building now. I have to put a medic in there. Uh, well, that's a priority building as well. So one of the scientists is going to have to come out and fill in. So you go back and work in there. Oh, okay, so now we've got four in there and three in there. Okay, so we've got 38 and 41, which is probably better. Okay, good, 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 good. But I'll get sorted out. How are we doing over here with the building? We've got that done. We've got all of this done. Oh, we're starting to get there. This one's about to get built. Our first greenhouse gas factory going in. Come on. Let's prioritize it. Bring a concrete. Here we go. And. Woohoo! Research complete. Sweet. Okay, um, that's concrete and machine parts. What do we need? How we do? We've got 3.3 billion though, which is pretty staggering. We've just done Martian copyrights. So, uh, let's see. You are travelling to Mars. You are travelling to Earth. So that's the one that I need to land there. Oh, oh no, 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 it's it's, there. it's sitting there. It's sitting there. I, I, I can buy some stuff, can't I? I've got some money to spend. Hooray! What do I want? I want loads of electronics. Let's get like, what, 100 electronics? 100 electronics. Polymers. I can get a few, just to top us up a little bit. Let's get like 20. And then some more machine parts. Zip, zip, zip. All right, launch, go. Now, I need to land that damn thing there and then automate it. Look, look how many rare metals we've got. That's, that's... It's a few, it's, I don't know, like three billion or something sitting there. Don't care about that. Oh, research complete, planetary survey. Uh, which one's planet? Is that the one that gives us the extra plan uh, anomalies? Yes, planetary survey. So now we've got a bunch of new planetary anomalies. And they are... Oh, they're not on there yet. They're not on there yet. Oh, hang on a second. We've got... No, no, that's not them. That is not them. Okay, I'm sure they'll show up eventually. It should come up and say, actually, we've got extra anomaly, uh, extra planetary anomalies. I'm sure it will at some point. Not going to worry about it. All right, so we have got are factory. You know what I need here? I need... Uh, let's see. I need storage. Let's have a universal depot. In fact, let's have, maybe have a couple. Oh, good, look at that. Uneven terrain. Uneven terrain. Crazy. Okay. 
Uh, what do I want? Let's... Uh... Research. I don't think complete. I can get in there to flatten it properly. That is the problem. Sector we'll give it a scanned. try. We'll give it a try. Uh, you're gonna let me. Funding no. received. Oh, damn you! I could put it there. I could put it anywhere other than the place that I actually want to put it. Oh, I hate you, game. Where, where else could I? You know what? I could just put it like. Should I sling it just in the centre? I'm just gonna sling it in the centre. What the hell? Uh, so what do I want? Don't want food, rare metals. Um, what am I gonna do with the fuel? I tell you what I'm going to do. I I don't want fuel there, and I'm going to put in a couple of, or at least one fuel there. Oh, and well now we've got margin Martian vegetation researched. Hooray! Now we start getting terraforming hints. So this is uh, vegetation. Vegetation is increased by working forestation plants and completing special projects. Hooray! Thanks very much. And then uh, new resource: seeds. Seeds. You can grow seeds on Earth or grow them. Uh, sorry, you can import them from Earth or grow them in farms. Increase soil quality, temperature, and water parameters to allow local vegetation to grow in your sector. Right. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. A couple of, couple of people leaving. Fine. What was I put? I was going to put in a fuel depot, wasn't I? Where can I put a fuel depot? I could put I could put it over there. That wouldn't be a bad place for it. Yeah, that actually, that, that's a good place for it. Because then it's the it's the shortest for the shuttles coming up here if they want to grab some extra fuel from here. Select a sector to scan. All right, we've done factory amplification. Oh my god, we're rattling through this. What do I want to do next? Um, maybe we'll do interplanetary projects. Actually, you know what? I think that one is those six planetary anomalies. This is the, is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Let's get that done next. That'll give us some, some proper special projects, ice asteroids and stuff. And then what else do I want? Not really too bothered about that. Not really too bothered about dozers right now. Maybe, maybe late crafting. Oh no, yeah, um, I should get the factory upgrade one, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that done first. Where was it? That's one. Let's get that one done first. Well, actually, we'll do that one first, then we'll do the factory AI. Okay, close. Go. What are we up to? 4.1k on the research. It's flying. How are we doing with our medics? We've got four in there, three in there still. How are we doing with our engineers? Still four. Almost full in there. And then that's the last thing to be filled up. All right, cool. How's, Research how's the farm complete. doing? See, look, we got we got a scientist in there. Why is there a scientist working at the farm? Seriously, we haven't got enough people. I guess it's because we're training everybody. We haven't got enough. Uh, we haven't got enough untrained people to fill all the jobs. So we've got a scientist in there. That's okay. Right, we've done uh, overcharge amplifications. Sweet. Oh, we've got four, five, uh, five factories. No, yeah, one, two, three, four, four factories. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, six. Yeah. Select a I've got a refinery scan. up and running yet. Yeah. Almost there. Let's let's make that important. Get that one done. But they're all running now. Look, if we go up here from greenhouse gases. The temperature is going up 1% per sol, at 1.3% per sol. Incoming. Oh, pause. No. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, just missed. Oh, that's not good. Oh, brutal. Meteor I really, well, oh, oh, right on the cable. Resources are low. Okay, quick guys, go fix it. Meteor See, incoming. as soon as we cut off the power, it spawns a dust devil. And that can, like, wreak havoc. It's not good. Oh, another one. See, we've got a leak already. That, if, if we'd had that leak, and I hadn't put in that extra 
uh, fusion reactor, the whole network would have shut down. Look, 45 now. Select a sector to scan. Wow. Thought, good job I did that. Ooh. Don't Meteor kill incoming. all my drones. Oh, where? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Boom. I don't think any of the drones here are working. Uh, have I got... Let's see, where are you? Anomaly You're killed. up there. You're there. Let's bring you up here. Because I think you might need to help these guys out. Um, where was it that got pounded? It was this part up here, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, I'll tell you what, just come up come up to here and then after the meteor storm's gone, I'll move you over and you can fix everything. 75 power being lost up here due to leaks now. It's not good. It is not good. I wonder, meteor can, I, incoming. can I get one of you? Resources fix. are low. No. What about... Research complete. Can I get you to fix this? Nope. Nope. You're, you're pretty much dead. What about you? No. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to have to get that that rover up there. Um, where are you? Yeah, you're there. I think I'm just going to move you into the danger area and at least let you fix these guys. Where is it? Where is it? It's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Move into the danger area. Right, we've done the factory AI. Cool. So let's go to the polymer factory. Oh, that's oh, that's ready to land. Now I need to land it in the right place, don't I? Yes, I do. So I need to land it there. Go. Still got a billion. So down you come. You land. Yeah, and then we Anomaly need to unload analyzed. all this stuff. Meteor incoming. Oh. Where's that meteor? Oh, man. It's brutal. Oh, how much is the leak? The still 75 of them. Okay. The rover is here. Right, quick. Repair all these guys. And start fixing leaks and Funding things. Received. New colonists have arrived. Cool. Okay. So, you. Oh, you're charging up. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get it sorted out now. But I think I should probably I should probably get this out of the danger area before something really, really seriously bad happens. Um, are all the drones repaired? Looks like they're all repaired now. Yeah, they're all working. Yeah, they're going off to. Are you gonna go and fix? Yeah, they're starting to fix leaks now. Let's move you out of the way. Let's put you somewhere safe. Let's move you down to bottom of the ramp. That'll do. There we go. Alrighty, how are we doing, tourist-wise? So look, uh, we have got 13 tourists waiting on Earth. We've got 36 tourists on Mars now. Woohoo! We have made 780 million from tourism. Awesome freaking Phenomenal source. Found. So tourism is working. Awesome. We've got a couple of anomalies found. Oh, cool. We like that. Um, there's a couple of our rovers that are broken. You're broken. Mm. I'd need to send a rover. I, I'm going to wait until the meteor shower's over. Oh, oh, we've got a meteor impact there. Oh, you get the hell out of the way, quick, move, move. No, no <laughs> you crazy Research thing. Complete. All right, cool. Sixteen hours. God, that's. I can't wait for that to be over. Oh, okay, so um, I, we'll finish off this episode by having a look at the actual planetary anomalies that I meant to, um, to, to, that I thought I was going to show you at the beginning. These six planetary anomalies, I got confused. It's not those. It's these ones. This is import greenhouse gases. Cost you 600 million and 30 fuel, and you get plus two atmosphere, plus two percent atmosphere and one percent temperature. Personally, I think this is. Uh, pretty much useless. Um, yeah, I'm not very impressed with this. You can see we've already got like 3.34 um, 3 and we're going up 1.5% per day. So a 1% increase in temperature is nothing. 
So import greenhouse gases, I'm not really very impressed with. Uh, it might be worth doing it when you're trying to get through the, um, the toxic rains period. The other one is this one, capture ice asteroids. Now this is worth doing. This gives you 5% water, which is a decent jump. Costs you 100 fuel, 15 machine parts, and it uh, can cause a Mars quake disaster, which is kind of cool. So uh, we'll be getting around to doing that fairly soon, I think. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, did that, did that rover get, oh no, there's two of the rovers there. Oh, come on, go away. <laughs> I'll have to get that fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pause it there. We're gonna leave it there for this episode. So we've got, that's going. We've now got two rockets. Uh, automate, finally, hooray. We've got two automated rockets shipping out our rare metals. Lovely. Why am I not gonna build the space elevator? Because I want loads of rocket. I want the place to be really active. I want loads of rockets going in and out all the time. Tourist rockets and um, rare metals rockets and all that kind of stuff. I think it's more interesting. I think when you should get the, sp the space elevator, it gets a bit dull. So yeah, guys, <laughs> God, here is our little, well, not so little, our little industrial plant for producing greenhouse gases. One and a half percent per day. That means we'll be done in like 60 days. So like by Sol, Sol 130-ish, we'll be 100% temperature. If you want to see me do other stuff, like the water and the vegetation, then you'll have to come back for the next episode. Oh my God, look at that meteor coming in. Scary. All right, guys. <laughs> God, what an episode. A little bit long. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're really into the series as much as I am. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.